panibagong araw, panibagong food and good vibes. And today, magluluto tayo ng trending at crispy na dish, ang chicharrones guacamole. Gagawin na natin ng madalian pero nakatataka because cooking doesn't have to be hard, it just have to be delicious. Kaya huwag na natin patagalin to. Let's go! Ayan mga katipsi, ito yung mga pork belly natin. Pinahiwa ko na to dun sa Filipino store na binilhan namin. Ayan, yung tamang kapal lang yung pinahiwa ko. Pero kung gusto nyo yung mas makapal pa na hiwa, nasa sa inyo na yun. Pero para sa akin, okay na tong ganito kasi dito naman namin sa bahay kakainin. Papalambutin muna natin yan, kaya nagpainit na ako ng tubig dito sa ating kalan. Lalagyan lang natin yan na pang palasa, asin, peppercorn, dahon ng laurel, at isang buong bawang na hiniwa natin sa gitna. Tapos ilagay lang natin dyan yung mga pork belly. Siguraduhin lang natin na nakasubmerge siya dun sa tubig para maluto siya evenly. At para mas ma-enhance yung lasa, lalagyan natin ng pork cubes. At papakuluan lang natin to ng 30 minutes. Ay mga tipsy, para sa ating tips ni tata, alam nyo ba na ang chicharon ay from the Spanish word pork rinds o yung palat ng baboy. Kaya kung mapapansin natin, yung mga chicharon na mabibili sa palengke or sa bus or kung saan man, most of them gawa sa balat ng baboy. Pero yung mga chicharon like yung uh, pork belly tulad ng uh, chicharong kamiling, di ba? Buong pork belly, yung bagnet, yung lechon kawali, consider din siyang chicharon kasi kapag nagluto ka kahit bake, kahit ihaw, kahit prito at naging crispy yung balat at pag kinagat mo napakalutong, consider yun as chicharon. Chicharon is a type of food na originated from Spain. At mula doon, naging traditional na pagkain na din to sa mga bansang sinakop nila tulad ng Mexico, South and Central America at lalong lalo na sa atin sa Pilipinas. Ang guacamole naman is main ingredient niya avocado tapos nilalagyan ng mga iba't ibang klaseng spices depende sa version na gusto mo. Simula itong uh, guacamole sa South Central Mexico doon din nagsimula yung pagtubo ng mga avocado. Yung guacamole ay ginawa ng mga Aztec. Sila yung mga tao na tumira talaga sa Mexico. Kaya ang pagkain na to ay talaga sa mga Mexican food makikita nyo usually meron silang mga guacamole sa pagkain. Ang chicharon at ang guacamole na lulutuin natin ngayon ay mga sikat na pagkain na, na talagang maikita na natin sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. At yan ang tips ni Tata. After 30 minutes, siguradong malambot na itong pork belly natin. Kasi ang pork belly is isa sa pinakamalambot na part ng baboy. Huwag niyong pakuluan ng sobrang tagal kasi kapag sobrang lambot, hindi rin siya maganda kapag prinito natin. Madali siyang madurog at maaaring hindi na siya juicy. Itabi lang muna natin to at palamigin. At habang pinapalamig natin dyan, hiwain na natin yung ibang ricado para sa ating guacamole. Gagamit tayo ng red onions at idadice lang natin yung cut. Pero pwede naman kayong gumamit ng ibang kulay like yellow onion or white onions. Pero sa mga natikman ko kasi yung guacamole, mole dito. Sa red onion ako nasarapan. Gagamit din tayo ng kamatis. Dice cut lang din. Itong cilantro is common ingredient din ng guacamole pero konti lang yung gagamitin natin kasi pag sobrang daming cilantro na o-overcome niya yung lasa ng ibang ingredients. So mga ganito karami lang para sa apat na abogado ang gagamitin natin. At para medyo spicy itong ating guacamole, lalagyan natin ng jalapeno. Pwede din yung serrano or kung gusto nyo ng sobrang anghang, pwede yung Thai chili na ginagamit natin sa Pilipinas. Pero syempre para normal lang at makain ng lahat, jalapeno lang yung gagamitin natin. Tanggalin lang natin yung buto kasi nandyan yung sobrang anghang at gagamit din tayo ng fresh lime. At ito ang mga rekadong gagamitin natin para sa ating guacamole. Isama nyo yung cilantro kasi hindi ko lang naisama sa camera. Ngayong nahiwan na natin yung mga rekado para sa ating guacamole, mamaya na natin gagawin yun kasi mabilis umitim yung avocado kaya mamaya na natin gagawin yung pag ready na itong pork belly. Malamig na tong meat natin, ay ipapat dry ko lang siya kasi may mga konting tubig pa siya sa paligid. Tapos si air dry lang natin bago iprito para madali siyang maging crispy. After 1 hour na pag air dry dito sa ating pork belly, lalagyan lagyan na natin ng seasoning yan. Ang lalagay lang natin ay salt and pepper. Maniwala kayo sa akin mga katipsi, kahit salt and pepper lang yan, siguradong malasang malasa ito mamaya. After natin ma-season both sides, sumula na natin mag-fry. This time, gagamit tayo ng air fryer, mga katipsi. Pero kung wala kayong air fryer, pwede naman yung usual natin ginagawa, yung dine-deep fry natin sa mantika. Since may air fryer tayong available, ito yung gagamitin ko ngayon para hindi tumalsik yung mantika at para mabilis natin maluto yung crispy pork belly. At isiset natin sa temperature na 370 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. At after 30 minutes... Ito na ang kinalabasan ng ating pork belly. Ayan, nakita nyo naman, no? napaka-crispy. Sa balat pa lang, maikita mong malutong na talaga. Pero yung sa part ng laman, hindi siya na-overcook, kaya siguradong juicy yan. Ayan, ilipat lang natin dito sa ating plato. What? 
Ayan, okay na itong ating chicharon na pork belly. Ngayon, gawin na natin yung guacamole. Ang main ingredient niya, syempre, itong avocado. So, hihiwain lang natin dito sa gitna. Ang avocado, mga katipsi, kapag green pa yan, hilaw pa yan. Pero yung medyo pa-brown na siya or dark na, yun na yung hinog. Syempre, hihiwain lang natin. Tapos, atanggalin natin yung buto. At syempre, gagamit na ako ng kutsara dito, Philippine style. Ayan, <laughs> para mabilis natin makuha yung laman nitong avocado. At para mabilis at makakain na tayo, itimelapse na natin yan. Ayan, okay na itong mga avocado natin. At dudurugin natin itong mga katipsi. Sa Pilipinas, ang ginagamit ko, tinidor. Pero dito sa Amerika, dahil wala tayong uh, yung food smasher, yung, yung potato smasher or avocado smasher, kaya gagamitin natin itong food processor para lang mabilis. After natin i-food process, syempre medyo may buo-buo pa yan. Ayan, kaya dudurugin ko pa siya nitong tinidor. At ayan, okay na itong avocado natin. Kaya ilagay na natin yung ibang ricotto. Lagyan natin yun ng fresh lime juice. At isunod natin agad yung salt, ground black pepper, tomato, onions, para may konting spice, jalapeno, cilantro leaves. At ito optional lang mga katipsi para may konting smoky flavor. Lagyan natin ng cumin powder. Tapos halo-haloin lang natin para magsama-sama yung mga ricotto. Ayan, time lapse mo na para mabilis. Ayan. Ops, teka, may nakalimutan pala ako. May iba't iba na kasi ako nakainan na Mexican food dito mga katipsi. At isa sa favorite version ko na guacamole nila is yung may sour cream. At nakita ko si mama bumili nung nakaraan kaya lalagyan natin. Pero konti lang yan, mga isang kutsarang sour cream lang. Para mas maging creamy itong ating guacamole. Ayan, tuloy ang halo. Ayan, haluin lang natin mabuti. At ayan, okay na itong guacamole natin at chicharon. Ayan mga katipsi, luto na itong chicharon is guacamole natin. Tara, kain tayo. Chicharones guacamole. What do you call this? Chicharones guacamole. Oh, chicharones or guacamole. Chicharones guacamole. It's actually a Mexican food. Right? Okay. Yeah. There are restaurants here in uh, in Diego in the US who sells that. It's trending online, so they cook it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are just trying it, so they said, nah, let's try it as well. Homemade. Mm -hmm. what, what's the, um, what, what part of the pig is this? This is the pork belly. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. those are good. You mean just like post? It's a homemade yeah, it smells like it. Do you put any spice in it or anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, it's a little spicy because we put the jalapeno, but it's just a little. I didn't taste it. Yeah, you're gonna taste it. I'm gonna say, pwede nyo itong ihalo sa kanin, ano? Yung iba, pero yung mga Mexican, nahaluan nila ito ng mga tortillas, ba itago na? Tortillas, yeah. Nahaluan nila ng tortillas. But to us, it's rice. Rice tayo. Now, let's taste it. Oh, it's crispy. Mmm. 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 Huh? Brother, mm -hmm. so how first time to try my abs? First time to try it. Good, right? This is pork belly, the most expensive part of me. Oh, pork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Super crispy, then. Eh? In belt, not Okay. And you put this in the air fryer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ano, sige, namin natin air fryer ha? Kasi syempre, para hindi naman sige mati kasi may air fryer naman. Pero kung wala kayong air fryer, pwede naman yung usual na ginagawa natin sa pagpiprito, di ba? Yung sa kawali na tas naka-chief fry sa mantika. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. But um, the chicharron is supposed to be like the small one, right? Yeah. Like a bite size. Mm -hmm. This is the traditional chicharron? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's made of uh, pork skin. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one here. Yeah, that's why the sit here is the pork skin. Mm -hmm. That's why it's crispy. Mm -hmm. So, can I get it? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to add the taste. I'm going to add the taste. I'm going to add the taste. What made you decide to do it? Do this. Do this. Because it's a trend. <laughs> oh, yeah? I keep seeing it yeah. online, even in shorts and TikTok, mm -hmm. and YouTube, so Facebook. Even in the Philippines, there are a lot of people who That's why I decided, how about this try? Because it looks delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it is, right? Have delicious. you ever cooked this before? No, this is the first time. This is your first guacamole too? This is your first guacamole. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. we're, we're, we're doing this in the Philippines, this dip. 
but there's no avocado. Yeah, mm. it's like different. So it's Jess is making guacamole for New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do? So when you make the dip in the Philippines, what do you use them? Not avocado. Just remove the avocado. <laughs> oh no, avocado. Everything, it, everything no except avocado, avocado. avocado. And put vinegar. Oh, <laughs> so it's just like pico de gallo then. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Ito kasi San Diego mga katipsi. Tabing tabi kasi ito ng ane ng Mexico. Mm -hmm. Kaya yung avocado dito talaga. Ng Alus common. Yeah, yung mga food na may mga avocado pa malalayo mm -hmm. guacamole. Oh yeah, this is their famous. This is guacamole. It complements the, the fried pork. It complements with the yeah, really guacamole. Good. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the combination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pork belly is really soft too. Inside. Mm -hmm. okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What kind of seasoning did you put on the, on the pork belly? Just salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? But um, I, I boiled it. And there are other seasons that I put in the boiling pot. That's your first time making guacamole? Yeah. Yeah. First time natin, pero masarap pa mga tipsy. Masarap pa natin sa mga pinupunta natin. Yeah, we always buy. No, we always buy. But if it's the first time, how did you know to make it then? Or check it out now. Wow. Yeah, guacamole is pretty good. Better than damn restaurant. Even some of the ones we buy. Masarap nga mga tipsy. Nachambahan natin yung guacamole. Yeah, mamba. Mm. Right? First time natin, nakuha naman natin yung flavor mga kasi Kasi pwede naman kapag mahilig lang, gumawa naman ang sausawan, di ba? Ang sabuyas, namalik lang yun. Uh, Natatansya na natin yun usually. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo itry yung ganitong flavor mga katip, susubukan yung ginawa natin. Konting asin lang, sa konting mm. pepper. Yeah, it's not salty, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's not salty at all. Kasi hindi din masarap yung masyadong maalat na guacamole. No, even the meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not, it's not salty. Tsamba again! Tsamba again! <laughs> Kaya mga tipsy, subukan nyo. Yeah. Yung sa chicharon, depende na sa inyo kung anong style ang gusto nyo. Ginawa ko na lang ganito kasi siyempre para madaling kainin. <laughs> kasi isahan na lang. Para pag sinerve mo. This is it? Water. Yummy? Yeah, this is it. You said the pork belly part is expensive? The most expensive part of pork. Huh? What's the other Because, part? Uh, expensive. Yeah, the Philippines are expensive mm -hmm. here. I think even here. No, because uh, oh. people like Filipino. Mm -hmm. They like the part of the pork is belly. Oh. Even for sinigang, mm -hmm. they like that. For whatever. Because of fats. Or uh, mm -hmm. even the shish kebab, they like pork belly. Mm -hmm. We call that something else now. Once it's uh, grilled. What? Limpo, right? Oh, yeah. Isn't they call that limpo? Yeah. Limpo is Tagalog of pork belly. Yeah. I think you're limpo in the other Tagalog, isn't it? You said, oh, limpo? Yeah, limpo. Oh, oh is that limpo? <laughs> Pork belly and yet pork. Really, mga kadaib sila complement yung flavor ng guacamole sa pork belly. Itrain nyo, masarap siya. First time namin, ayun o, nagustuhan naman namin lahat. Ito ako, first time ko rin to. Sila, ikita ko nga so trending online. And I really wanna taste it. I just don't know where we can buy it here. So, why instead, make it, right? It's not really that hard naman, mga kadaib sila. Simple dish lang din siya. Bakit tama lang yung sukat yung nilalagay niya. Tamang tan siya lang. Where did you find the pork belly? All of this is important. They don't sell it in the commissary? Seafood sitting, Chula Vista! Yeah? They don't sell it? Chula Vista. They don't sell it in the commissary? Not this kind. Because... No, there's probably... I know, but they... They... But it's big! Yeah. You said it. The $40 one is like this big. I like the Filipino story. You have no choice. Yeah. But in the... In Seafood City, you can just point that and then they... You can ask them, can you cut it like this way? Oh! And they do it. Yeah, I really like it. We got the crispiness, we got the creaminess. We got the dish. We got the inventory. And we got the favorite ones. Yeah, the favorite ones. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Let's try it. 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 Let's Yeah. And it's honestly hard to find like a good guacamole. Like, yeah. You have to make one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, if, like, like you said, like there's different things that can cause it from not tasting so well. So mm -hmm. it's really good. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, so next time you're gonna do ayon ng ano ba yung laging ginagawa ng mga Pilipino yung taco. Yeah. Next time you will do taco. Oh yeah, this is good with taco too. Mm -hmm. Para Mexican taco mm -hmm. talaga yung magawa. Nako sa ito Mexican guacamole talaga yung ginawa natin. At ayun nga mga katipsi, bago tayo magpatuloy, 100,000 subscriber na kayo. Kaya kayo mag-subscribe na kayo ha, para pulit siya natin ng 1,000 subscriber. At, I forgot for our last vlogs, my brother's channel, the Gold Sparrow Gaming, 
That's the channel. Please subscribe kayo mga ka-tips. Magaling yan maglaro, lalo sa mga shooting games. Matututo kayo. Tsaka magaling siya mag-explain. Para ma-share yung techniques ng paglalaro. Ang sure. Bigo dyan? Okay. Gusto mo ma? Okay. Dad, bro? Dad, you rather? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Na less na nga siya. <laughs> Ay, baka doon siya may bonus clip tayo ha, sa dulo ng video nito. At saka shout out, syempre. Ayan, pero hanggang dito na naman yung video natin. At sana nagustuhan nyo yung dish natin today. Pwede nyo gayahin, napakasimple lang naman. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tapos i-ring na rin yung bell dyan para updated ka sa food and good vibes natin. Ayan, mga tipsy. Always remember, stay tipsy lang. Salud! Ayan, mga tipsy, para sa bonus clip natin. <laughs> Uh, today, you say, we're breakfast. Kami. Yeah, deep is, uh, where are we going to do the breakfast? Breakfast Republic. There you go. Breakfast Republic of the Philippines. No, it's different. Take malate ng masarap yung mga almasal niya. Si mama medyo puyat. Ayan, tayo may cura kasi. Ano od ng wildflower. Ano od ng wildflower magdamag. Yeah, ano od ng wildflower. Yeah, ayan. Puyat siya. <laughs>